What's your tip for teasing? <laughs> well, first it's a wink. <laughs> I'm Tony Medina and I'm Hollywood's go-to boy for retro glamour. Today, one of my friends is coming over and I'm gonna give their hair his vintage touch. Hey you guys, I am here today with one of my close friends and season seven winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, Violet Chachki. Hello, thanks for having me, babe. I remember the first wig I did for you was actually for your music video. I remember we had like been friends for a couple of months on Instagram. Yeah, we were chatting on Instagram for a while. And it was basically like, I wanna work with you, I wanna work with you too, I've been following you for a while. And then we were just waiting for the opportunity, but then you were still living in Atlanta and traveling for yeah. the show. And you were in town for like a week for the finale. So we were filming the finale of Drag Race. That was the day we met, I had came into your whole town room. We used to use my actual hair as a base. <laughs> You know, that was yes, we did. We were just like throwing up and fall. Your life was dedicated you, to drag. Girl, you were like, I'm gonna have like, a ponytail. I would get that leveled, I would dye it level two, we would get level two <laughs> fall. So what do you want to do today? I brought a really amazing matte blue silvery custom front. Yeah. But I wanna do something easy to travel with, okay. super unique, okay, show cool. stopping, one of a kind. We got this. Never been done before. Well you're a bougie bitch, you always kind of have your we custom want... hairline. Oh yeah, no, we well, you have to, girl. We can't be having the circle. <laughs> so I'm thinking of giving you something kind of fooler in the front mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. sleek in the back. We and maybe that. like one of those bumps at the bottom like you like. Keep it weird. Keep it weird. I think whenever I'm working with you, you definitely push me and like challenge my talent, which I love. So it's always gonna be some type of crazy shape. We're always gonna play with volume. And I think whenever we're doing that, the first thing we have to do is just make a crazy, huge, fluffy base of teasing. Always. So now I'm spraying it to like really lock in that teasing so that your shit doesn't fall down because I know you want to take it on tour. Oh, she's coming on tour. Violet Chachki, Violet Chachki. Is a biatch, is a biatch. <laughs> You're a bigger bitch than I am. Let's just be real. I don't think so. I feel like I'm like so much. What? Bullsh We're not some hairspray to hold this base together. Yeah, we love it. Honey. She's gonna be like the pompadour gig. You know what? Middle part. You know what I'm kind of giving a bit? Cynthia from Rugrats. Yes, bitch. She's thin. She was a fashion model doll. Hello? So now what I'm gonna do is smooth out the sides and these are kinda gonna be like the base to your horns. And it's gonna really bring your face up and kind of just give you that kind of structure that's very flattering to, you know, manly features. We like that snatch back. So now I think I'm gonna start smoothing this middle pompadour slash like victory roll moment, kind of our own creation. I'm just gonna start smoothing her out on the surface. Violet, how did you first hear of me? Someone was tagging me in your posts in the comments and then I started following you. I had heard of you actually, but I didn't re I either didn't remember your name or I just didn't see your Instagram. But when the show started, everybody was tagging me. They're like, Tony, did you see this girl? And it was you. And I had to follow because she was fierce. She was the one. I wish I would have had your wig on the show, bitch. My hair was, I mean, it was all right. It was, I was actually very impressed. There was one, I think it was, Maybe the bearded one, and yeah, you came out with like a page, a, a page boy, but it was like a honey brown. It was so beautiful. I was like, that's such a pretty wig. Yeah, I, I mean, did you that. did I it. I styled that myself. So you're probably wondering, Tony, what are you still doing up there? I'm still smoothing it out because of all the teasing, and I really don't want to brush through it. I don't want to destroy the teasing inside because that's padding. So I'm really just trying to ease my comb over the teasing and just smooth it out as gentle as possible. Now I'm just rolling this teasing up which is still gonna look fugly, but it's gonna look pretty once I'm done with it. And I prefer long bobby pins, but I know you really like the large U pins. Yeah. What is it that you like about them? Um, I just feel like they get in there easier. Like I don't like how you, yeah, I like how you don't have to open them up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This part is actually really difficult and the placement is really crazy. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this and just put it in like that. So now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to connect the two side pieces that I did to the middle part and just kind of make them look seamless and clean. I think that your drag constantly evolves. Now I think I'm more into like the really weird hair from like movies and stuff, like where they would have like mm -hmm. really weird shapes, like from the 40s, was like almost yes. like 40s does sci-fi. It's like, yep. that's the kick I'm on right now. I think that you can still do the poodle updo though, because a lot I mean, of people I can do don't whatever. do that. Yeah, you, well. I can do everything. 
<laughs> but it's fun to do new stuff too. I think when I first started doing wigs for Violet, I was very amateur. I had only done maybe two wigs my entire life. So I would say the blonde poodle wig that you wore on the RuPaul's Drag Race finale took me maybe like six hours to do. That's f***ed up. I knew a lot of people were gonna be watching. There was gonna be a lot of bitchy queer people reading my hairstyles. And I was like, I, I need to show up and show out. So I wanted to put my best work forward. And it ended up being a really iconic wig. I still to this day get tagged in fan art from that. It was such a great wig. I just smoothed it all out and rolled in the ends and now I'm still smoothing it out. Who would you say is like your biggest like fashion inspiration? Besides mother. M mother. Dita, our mom. That is something I think we always agreed on when we first met. Neither of us had worked with her. And that was kind of like, we want to work with Dita. Like we want to like be kind of like in her element. And we did. I feel like she had a lot of people telling her like, there's this girl, Violet Chachki. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta check her out. And they were telling her about and, you. And then same thing, people are like, there's this boy who does hair his vintage touch. You like, guys gotta work together. So I'm not giving the hair a haircut or anything. I'm just cutting off flyaways that are broken off anyway. Like that, that white piece of hair. And so this just helps me create like a really, really great silhouette so that when I spray it, there's not all these little like flyaways and like webby pieces. Everyone should do this. Violet, you know who you remind me of a lot actually? You remind me a lot of Davima. Ugh, I love Dovima. You're probably a really big combination of Dita and Dovima. It's Dovima, Dita, Betty. Yeah. Jennifer Tilly, a little bit of Lady Miss Kier. Did you say Jennifer Tilly? Yeah. I named myself Violet after her character in the movie Bound. Really? Have you seen it? No. She's so cute. Oh my God, she looks like Betty Boop. Can I hear your best um, Jennifer Tilly impersonation? Oh, Corky. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> It's like really raspy. I like, oh, Chucky. Oh. So now I'm just flipping in the ends and pinning them so they hold that kind of curl shape at the end. When she turns her head, you know, like here and there, the hair flips with her and it looks like she has a badass attitude, which she probably does. Thank God. So now I'm just taking these little fish nuggets so that we can brush them out. All right, Violet, we're just about done, babe. What do you think? Ugh, it looks so good. I love it. I hope you have fun on tour with this. Oh my God, it's stunning. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you. Mwah. What did you do?